Hey everybody, it's Candace Bird Davis again, just coming to you with a quick video showing you how you will update your IDO information. So this is in the event that you currently have an uh, independent business owner account with Total Life Changes and maybe you need to change your address, maybe you need to change your phone number, or even your email to make sure that you are getting the pertinent updated information from the corporate office. So what you're going to do is log into your back office. When you log into your back office, you're going to see where it says My Profile. Click on My Profile. And this is a very, very simple, very easy step. So once you click on My Profile and the page loads, it's going to take a few seconds just to bring it up. But this page is going to load over here to the left-hand side. You are going to be able to see where you can edit your profile. This is going to be your name, your address, your social security number, your phone number. As you see, the preferred placement, we did a video about that. You can change your password into your Total Life Changes account. You can edit your picture, change your replicated site information, change your shipping profile. So all of that is done here on the left-hand side. The first tab is going to be to edit your profile. When you come in to edit your profile, maybe you want to change your replicated site information which is, you know, if you want them to be able to go to totallifechanges.com forward slash minus success with Candace, you can indicate your replicated site information here. If you need to do an update to your birth date, maybe you want to change your email, your phone numbers, even your address, your billing address, and your shipping address. Now, if this is your permanent shipping address, you want to make sure that you copy the shipping address to your auto ship profiles so that all of your auto ship information and product gets sent directly to the address you indicate here. Once you make those changes, you want to go ahead and click Save. You can also make the decision to change your password. By clicking on the Password tab here, it gives you the ability to indicate your current password, change it to a new password. You can also edit your picture. So if you decide that you no longer want to use this picture, all you're going to do is simply choose file. It's going to bring up all of your pictures that you may want to use um, to update your profile picture. You would just select the picture that you want to use. And let's just see. I believe that I have a picture that we can update. Just to give you an example. Let's just say I want to update this picture here. I'm going to click open. As you see, it's going to upload my picture. And then you just click Upload Image. Oh, looks like it wasn't a verified file. So what you do is just select a photo that must not have been a JPEG file, a JPG file, but it'll update and it will change it here. You can also skip straight to replicated site information if that's the only thing that you're looking to change is your replicated site. You might want to let them know what your name and phone number is. You can ask, actually indicate all of this info here so it will show up on your website. And you can click Save. So this is pretty much the majority of what you will find in your profile section. If you've entered a trouble ticket or a service desk ticket request, you'll find the active ones here. Your shipping profiles are also right here. So if you want your product to be able to be shipped to different profiles, you can indicate them here as well. But that is a real quick video in showing you how to edit your IBO information, change your password, change your picture, whatever it is that you may feel that you need to do in the IBO profile section of your website.